What is going on everybody? My name is Pete, but you probably already knew that. But in case you didn't, you guys are watching the one and only Paid to Drive. And of course, Paid to Drive Vlogs coming at you with another new video. Hope you're all doing great out there. That's right, everybody. So if you drive for apps like Grubhub, DoorDash, Uber Eats, or any of the others, you are in the right place to stay up to date with what is going on in the gig economy. So get started right now for free. Hit that red subscribe button down below and turn on all notifications so you're always notified whenever I post something new. And of course, everybody, don't forget to hit that like button down below. It just lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job and let's jump on into it. So back by popular demand, even though it isn't even a popular demand, uh, you guys have really been enjoying when I go over your feedback, over topics we've talked about. So I'm gonna read some of your feedback and comments right now uh, from the video that I titled, looks like we may not be independent contractors much longer. Um, Prop, 20, uh, Prop 22 ruled unconstitutional, a blow to California gigs, uh, gig law. So basically that they saw that, Prop they felt that Prop 22 was not really to help drivers. And basically it would go against Assembly Bill 5, which would demand companies like DoorDash, Uber, and Grubhub, you know, all of the, the major gig economy companies to force them to make their drivers employees instead of independent contractors, uh, which we don't want. So this is what a bunch of you guys said. Uh, so, uh, someone named Scott said, I like being my own boss. If I wanted a traditional W-2 job, I'd go out and get one. Well said, I feel the exact same way. Uh, MM said, uh, I've been an independent contractor in several businesses for many years. I will quit before allowing myself to be labeled a W-2 employee. Again, very well said. If you notice the, the pattern already here, people are just basically saying, drivers are saying, I like it the way it is. Yes, there are issues. Yes, we have complaints, but I mean, that's with any kind of work you do. There's always going to be a complaint. You know, no job is perfect. Um, Josh Pingley says, look, these companies could have prevented this AB5 mess had they just stopped with the long distance, uh, low payouts, over hiring of drivers in markets and mandatory tipping on orders over a certain amount. Beautifully said, beautifully said. And that one actually had 13 thumbs up on it. Uh, Scott said 17, just to put that in perspective. Now, this is going to be a bit of a controversial one, and please be as respectful as possible, even though I know for some people that's a real struggle. Road Warrior said, this is why I don't bother to vote. The government does what they want, regardless of what the people want. I hate to say it, but in many cases, we, you know, as we have looked through history, that is true. The government, in a way, is kind of like these big businesses where they're going to net, they're going to do what's best for them first, and then the people second. In in many ways, not in all ways. Okay, we're not looking for a, everyone to flip out in the chat in the comments here. Now, this is from John Christofik, and if you guys know John Christofik, he's been watching my videos for like three or four years. He he just tells it like he sees it, you know, whether, whether we all agree with it or disagree with it, John is always there just letting us know how it is. So let me know if you agree with what John says here. He says, we will always be independent contractors. DoorDash will never go out of business. This video only applies to California drivers. If you don't live in California, you have nothing to worry about. <coughs> so John is half right. This video does only apply to California drivers right now, but what he's not telling you is that, com uh, is that states like New York, where I live, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, New Jersey, just to name a few, have been in the works of coming up with their own version of Assembly Bill 5, okay? It has not been fully put out yet, but I've done videos in the past, reading articles and talking about people that know about this stuff, that that's what's coming that whatever California does, a lot of the other states like to replicate. Whatever New York does, a lot of the other states like to replicate. It's just the way it's always been. So do you agree with John or disagree? Um, Raisa Mara says, I'm a full-time Grubhub driver, but I had to start doing DoorDash too due to them sending me $4 offers and forcing me to have my level dropped, which is a concern to us. Not really related to what we were talking about here, but it's understandable why people would switch. Like I always say, make sure you diversify. Always diversify the apps. 
If you're not signed up on them all, I have the links in the description down below. Sign them on all of them today. And uh, finally, Terrence Pacheco uh, says, uh, he's one of our longtime patrons too. What about vehicle use for employees? If you work for someone, usually they provide the necessary equipment, AKA a vehicle. Now, Terrence, in some cases you're correct, but like I know that Domino's drivers and um, uh, like Papa John's drivers, a lot of them use their own vehicles. Uh, I believe Roy, Roy will be Roy. What's up, Roy? Uh, he does Domino's, if I'm not mistaken, and he has to use his own car. So I, I don't know if they credit you on gas or if they help you at all, but you have to use your own vehicle just like with us. So that's probably the route they would go, which is annoying, but it's just the way it is. So what do you guys think about Prop 22? Do you think it's constitutional? Do you think it's unconstitutional? Uh, do you think we should be employees? Do you think we should remain independent contractors? Let us know in the chat or the comments. And if you guys ever want to send me anything for a video, send me an email at paytodrivestories at gmail.com. That's the best place to reach me. Or you guys can uh, message me through Patreon at patreon.com slash drive. Link is in the description down below or in the pin top comment. And anyone who signs up on there as my way of saying thank you, I give you guys shout outs in all my new videos, which I'm about to do right now. So when you hear your name called, say, hey, Pete, I heard my name. We've got the very generous Ari Rosenbaum, our $100 ultimate driver. Thank you so much, Ari. We've got the very generous Samantha Michaels, Brian Pomeroy, Brian Medina, Heidi Barnes, Ivan Jerome Gilroy, Joe Valerio, Angela Counts McCarty, Kurt Paul, Lee Peacock, Tulsa Todd, William Boudreau, Laura Love, Agus, Tom Perry, Alan G. Van Horn, Lawrence Brown, Drew Hanor, Fernando Carranza, Frank Haviland, Fresh One, uh, Jason Casta, Justin Case, Lulu Laura, Natalie Mosley, Sarah Keston, Scott Freisner, Sherry Cassidy, Stephen Neely, Joyce Hine, Brian Richardson, Kenny Bess, Ginny Thomas, John Bonacci, Matt Epperson, Nick G, Stacey Miller, Terrence Pacheco, and of course, Valerie Brown. So huge shout outs to all of the patrons. If you guys would like to sign up and join that team, click the link in the description or in the pin top comment. And of course, I hope all of you are saving money with the Get Upside Gas app. That's, I talk about it in every single video. There's a, it's a free app for your smartphone. There's a link down below in the bottom of all my descriptions. Click that, it'll download it to any kind of phone that you have. And then you go to your gas station, pump your gas, print out your receipt, take a picture of your receipt with the Get Upside Gas app. And within 48 hours or so, you'll get anywhere from 15 cents to 45 cents a gallon back, which is pretty fantastic. And if a friend or family member signs up using your code, you'll get paid every time they pump gas. It's called Get Upside. Links in the description down below. Make sure to download it. And of course, everybody, if you want to get one of these awesome Get That Money, Get That Honey t-shirts, you can get your own on sale every day at paytodrivestore.com. That link is in the description or the pin top comment, as I mentioned. Uh, we have lots of different designs, colors, sizes, you name it. We probably have it over at paytodrivestore.com for all your t-shirts, hoodies, and goodies. And if you made it to the end of this video, I'm very grateful for all of you. Leave a comment saying END628, END628. Just lets me know you made it to the end of the video. Don't forget to hit that free red subscribe button down below and turn on all notifications so you're always notified whenever I post something new. And of course, if you wouldn't mind, hit that like button down below. Just lets me know you made it, uh, not, just lets me know that you like the video and that tells YouTube I'm doing a good job. There we go. So until next time, get that money, get that honey, keep hustling and keep bustling. And we'll see you next time right here on Paid to Drive and Paid to Drive Logs. And as always, drive safe, be well, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace, everybody.